It's also the wife, I'm a fireman. We had a row one day, and she told me to go to Blazers. So I joined the fire brigade. And what a thankless job it is. You know, you get, you get called out at all times, you know. And nobody thinks of sending you a postcard to, give you, to tell it you're going to have a fire, you know. You know, you can't attend to everybody at once. And we've had a very big rush lately. As a matter of fact, there's still a lot of fires to be attended to. Still, according to the books, we're straight up to last Tuesday. Mind you, we do our very best to please everybody. Now, a lady came in here last week and she said her house was on fire. Well, I knew we couldn't go around there for a day or two, you see, so I gave her a hundred weight of coal and some firewood and I told her to keep the fire going until we came. I mean, you can't be fairer than that, can you? Oh, we, we're going to be busy. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, this is the fire station. Who's speaking? I am, you fathead. Can't you see it's me? What's that? You're a ruined man. Your business is gone. What are you going to do? Oh, get a new business. Pardon? Oh, your shop's on fire and it's blazing. Oh, well, if your shop's blazing, perhaps your business will brighten up a bit now. Anyway, who are you? Oh, you're the grocer from over the road. Oh, yes, I know you. Don't you remember I came into your shop yesterday for some smoked bacon and you said you had no smoked bacon? What do you say? That's nothing to do with your shop being on fire. Oh, yes, it has. If your shop's on fire, you'll have plenty of smoke bacon now. <laughs> Hello? Oh, he's rung up. See, now, I think he's annoyed because we can't go over straight away. I'm saying if it's anything like a decent fire, it'll last for days. What with impatient people and having to learn new rules and regulations, I never have a minute to myself. Here's some new rules I've just received from headquarters. I'll read them to you. Rule one. Persons who intend having a fire must give seven days notice in writing. This does not apply to brewery fires. Rule two. Are you the fireman? Of course I'm the fireman. What did you think I was, a greyhound? No, greyhounds don't have red noses. Now, I don't want any cheek from you. We've got a fire to tear up. What are you going to do about it? Hmm, I don't know. I suppose something ought to be done. Uh, do you think I ought to come round and have a look at it? Yes. And don't forget to bring your squirter. Miss Squirter? Yes, that thing you use to squirt water on the fire. Oh, you mean the hose. Our <laughs> Herbert calls it a squirter. Your Herbert? Who's your Herbert? He's my brother. Yes, but where is your Herbert? He's up in the attic and he can't get out because of the fire. Oh, this is serious. I shall have to take a few particulars down. Now, of course, you must fill in the form before we can do anything. Now, let's have these particulars. How old is your Herbert? What's that got to do with it? Well, we must know how old he was when he died. But he's not dead yet. No, but he will be by the time we get to the fire. Now, what were his last words to you? His last words were, tell the farmer to bring his squirter. Has he ever been in a position of danger before this? He once fell in the river. Oh, that's the but is it? The one who fell in the river. And did he get wet? Of course he got wet. Oh, well, the fire will dry his clothes for him now, then. Now, where did the fire start? At the beginning. Yes, I know that, but did it start at the front or at the back? Neither. It started on the bottom. Started on the bottom? Any more answers like that, and I shall start on your... Uh, well, anyway, now, what do you want me to do? Bring your squirter. Now, tell me, who started this fire? Our Herbert. Oh, your Herbert started the fire. What for? Because he wanted to see you with your squirter. Yes, you know, your Herbert looks like getting into serious trouble. Did he set fire to it with malice of forethought? No, with a match. And he may have endangered other lives besides his own. He has. Not in the house. 
The mother's in the house? This is serious. Oh, uh, when you left the house, was your mother in a dilemma? No, she was in her nighty. In her nighty? That's done it. I'll be round there in half a minute. Your house is burning, your house is burning. Look yonder, look yonder. Fire, 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 fire. Run and fetch me some water. Your mother's nighty is flimsy, and the flames, they may hurt her. We must go, we must go.